Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is the reading for your reading for the month of August. So the little mini message is, you know, step out of your comfort zone and go after something that you want, something that you haven't done before or something you haven't done in a really long time, something that brings you joy, something that brings you, that helps you to expand yourself. It's the same message for everybody. I just say in a different way for different signs, uh, you know, what can I tell you? All right. So that is the little mini message. Okay, let's see what's going on. Uno, dos, tres. Wow. All right. Um, we start with the Queen of Cups, then we go into the Death card, and then the Four. All right, so the Queen of Cups is really, she's she's really the mom, she's the mother. She's the nurturing, loving, kind mother. And she's um, she's deeply empathic. You know, she's the great, she's the empath of the deck. So it's like, I'm going deep into my heart. This is really interesting. So I'm going deep into my, when I say I, I mean you. I'm going deep into my heart and into my feelings. And it's like I'm healing. Uh, I, I know. Because um, she has a healing energy, right? And th this is really the, the great transformation. So th it's almost like an interior understanding of, you know, home that you're willing to transform, that you're willing to um, move through. So like, there, there's something that's really upsetting me today. I was really angry. And I, like, I felt the anger completely and then I just let it go. And it's almost like, you know, you have to come to a place, at least for me, look, I'll, I'll just say in my experience. Like, you know, they had to come, I had to come to a place where I had to let go of the anger, where I had to let go of the resentment. Like, I could feel it and um, acknowledge it, but then, you know, let it move through you. Let it move through you, whatever it is, you know, oh, you know, somebody, I don't want to get into the thing. And it's like, let it move through you so that you can be comfortable. Because, you know, holding it, like holding like anger and resentment and, you know, all that. And it's like, I'll show, you know, that person who did something wrong to me. And it's like, I'm drinking the poison. I expect them to die. You're like, it doesn't really work. So that's the beginning of the reading. Interesting. Um, and maybe trying something different. Yeah, the dorks always start with another thing. Um, maybe trying something different is really about letting it move through you. All right. Look at this. Because otherwise you keep yourself in the dark. You know, it's this, and this is really a false path. So it's really about um, someone being tied or tying yourself to the dark, tying yourself to um something that doesn't work and you know it's like uh sometimes we're defined you know we like to define ourselves by oh well this person did me wrong you know that whole thing and um if i can let go of the anger if i could let go of the and, and actually there are two meditations that i offer on my website one of them is forgiveness um, it's a guided meditation where basically you see that person that you're resentful of in front of you. And um, you send them kindness. You know, they're far away, so don't worry. And then, you know, you, you put them in a balloon and let them go. That's one of them. And then the other one is, it's called rewriting the past or something like that. I don't even know the name of it. 
uh, where you go back to that moment, to that situation, and you rewrite it. And it, it shifts the energy. You know, this, I do a lot of energy work. All right. Yeah. And move forward into the future. Let go of the past, move forward into the future. You know, let go of the past and the turbulence and the emotional um, upheaval, so to speak, and move into the future. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is a really healing reading. So let's say <clears throat> you had an issue with somebody in your family, right? And they did you wrong. And you, you were in the anger and in the resentment and in the hurt and all that. But if you would just allow yourself to feel it and go through it, right? And then move into something new, then maybe, you know, a week later or a month later or whatever it is, it's like, then you remember the good of it, you know, because it, it's always, it's always a mixed bag, right? It's always this mixed bag. And it's like, well, can I, can I utilize the good things that I got from this person and let go of the other stuff in order for me to heal, in order for me to heal? Wow. 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 All right. Uh, extended readings are available for members. Please become a member. Um, I offer private readings. I offer energy work healing. I offer meditations. Um, and I am working on, what do you call it? Um, raising more money so that I can get the both cataract operations, which will be sometime in September. Long story. All right. Thanks for joining me. Um, the only way through it is through it. You know, that's really the bottom line. The only way through it is through it. And maybe this trying something new is to, you know, do some energy work to let go of the past so you can move forward into the future with a clean slate. All right. Blessings. <clears throat>